it, it, it's fine. Yeah. I, I would not say I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail in the commentary. Dwayne Evans, uh, he played, he was with Ryuku Golden Kings last year, wasn't he? So basically, he must have gotten a good offer. He was one of their better players. But they they still have a good team, Ryuku, so... I guess the big surprise is uh, Utsunomiya Brex. No one expected them to be struggling. Okay, so we are going to see the standings, uh, the wild card standings. Okay. So Goon McCrane Thunders, they have the best chance of if of anybody, but it it's still it's unlikely. Let me see, twenty three and twenty. There's still several games behind Nagoya Diamond Dolphins and Hiroshima. So what is this highlight here? Is this? And which team is that? Oh, the, okay, that's Hiroshima in the white. 90 to 88. So they beat Nagoya Diamond Dolphins in the red. Everybody and welcome to the Japanese B League. We are in uh, ready in the pregame mode, uh, looking at the highlights uh, from the last game here, the last two games for these teams, and Hiroshima Dragonflies uh, watching them beat the Nagoya Diamond Dolphins, and here Guma Crane Thunders going at it uh, in their latest game. It's uh, it's been a struggle this season. As you look at Toyota, Toyoma Grouse's, it's been a struggle for them this season coming into today uh, in the lower echelons of the standings, but they're at home today and looking to spring the upset. Just eight wins and 35 defeats for the Grouse's going up against a Hiroshima team that is 31 and 12. So. Hiroshima Dragonfly is being introduced here to the crowd. And there's Kai Soto, uh, one of the men of the moment uh, from the Philippines. And, of course, Dwayne Evans, who has been terrific uh, coming over from the Ryuku Golden Kings. Those two guys will get a lot of touches today. And all the way up and down that lineup, you can see it is a very talented roster. The starting five today for the Dragonflies, and there you have uh, for Hiroshima, also number 10, Kamisawa, and looking at his numbers so far on the season, highlighting uh, his efficiency, his uh, 
probably a, a mild threat uh, from deep, but averaging 2.3 points per game here on the home court of the Grouses. The Toyoma Grouses are, well, if anything, the fans are faithful as they come out to support him today. And let's look at their lineup. Uh, keep your eye on Fai, Nozaki, Kishinaka, Miles Hessen, and Gadsen. Zeros, Ryumu, Ono. Samba Fai coming in at 4.7 points per game. Nozaki, 5.2 points per game. Kishinaga, excuse me. Um, uh, yeah, Kishinaga, keep an eye on him, number 10. He will be in the starting lineup today at 3.8 points per game. Miles Hessen, who is the Great Britain International, 23.2 points per game, 5.4 rebounds. He gets a lot of touches. And, of course, Novar Gadsen at 19.3 points. There is... Phi, as he comes out, now they're looking at the starting five that comes out, uh, Nozaki, Kishinaga. Hessen and Gadsen. And Josh Smith, one of the captains, along with Hariyama, Those would be two of the weapons coming off the bench for Coach Ta Takaoka. Uh, so Toyoma Grouses at home. And here you can see also we're going to highlight the highlight the uh, the play of Amitani. Likes to get out and run. So a little pregame jump ball between those two. Here are the team stats coming into today, today's game. 84.4 for, uh, for Hiroshima. You can see the three-point shooting much better <clears throat> for the Dragonflies, as is the free throw shooting, as is the overall Field goal percentage, the points, the higher points scored per game. Uh, but that's what you would expect because they are currently in the wild card spots and looking very much like a team that is going to be in the B League playoffs. Starting fives again for both teams and for the Grouses, Tarashima, Suji, Soto, Evans, and Mayo. And excuse me, for the uh, Dragonflies. And for the Grouses, it's going to be Fai, Nozaki, Kishinaga, Hessen, and Gadsen. So it's very important for the Dragonflies to keep the momentum going, continue to get uh, Soto more and more involved in this team, and uh, continue to accentuate your strengths Clearly, uh, they come into this game as favorites against this uh, Toyoma Grouse's team that uh, has had a lot of hurdles uh, to overcome this season. Uh, but you never want to you never want to dismiss the impact of the home court for these teams and the sixth man. And if they get a good start today, the Grouses uh, will be tough customers. So it's Soto jumping center against Fai. I'll have to say that's the first time I've seen that. <laughs> Fantastic. The opening tip. We are underway in the B-League game. Toyono Grouses here at home taking on the Hiroshima Dragonflies.
And the early foul has been called on Gadsden. Here's Mayo launching it and making it from three-point land. So Toyama already on the back foot. There's Soto with his first rebound, the big Gilas Filipinas player, and he tries to got ahead on the break. Evans tried to get him the bounce pass to get an easy one. And the Grouses come down and stroke it from deep. So Nozaki gets his team's first points on the board. Came in averaging 5.2 points per game. So a great start for Nozaki. And he took that shot with a lot of confidence. Here's the penetration and a little bit of contact. So free throws coming. From Mayo. Mayo makes the first. Hiroshima Dragonflies again. They already occupy the one of the wild card spots, and uh, after this, they'll have a. After these two games against the Grouses uh, today and tomorrow, they will be going up against Kyoto, Hanaris, and then a game against Nagoya. Then a couple of tough games against the Shimane Susano Magic, Osaka. Nagoya Diamond Dolphins, Shiga Lake Stars, Shinshu Brave Warriors, a couple against them, a couple more against Shimani, and then they'll finish things off with the Ryuku Golden Kings. And the fadeaway, going off one foot, Samba Fai. Evans takes it deep into the paint and bring it right back outside. Hiroshima gets rid of it. Suji then passes it to Soto. His pass intended for Mayo, but it's batted away. Now Miles Hessen. Back to Gadsen. And Soto with another rebound. Pass outside to the perimeter. Mayo back to the corner. They're really moving it around well, but then Suji loses it out of bounds. With Kyle Milling really emphasizes the, the passing game, a lot of the movement, and that was uh, good hands reaching in and knocking it away. Here's Gatson again, the big left-hander. This time he puts it on the deck, tries to get it to fight. Now Evans taking it the other way, and he is bumped by Gatson. That'll be his second foul already. So he's going to go out of the game, and that was a clear foul. And that leads to the introduction of uh, one of the captains, Josh Smith. Also checking into the game is Ono. Ryumu Ono. Soto puts it up and in. Kai Soto off to a good start today. And Hiroshima go up seven to three. Hessen gets it to Smith. He's got the good soft touch and the big body 
He works his way down low. He's surrounded and he is fouled. Getting free, putting it up and missing everything was Ono. Now Evans quickly to the other end, passes it out to the perimeter. Mayo into the corner, Evans. Oh, and a little bit of a collision there and quickly coming the other way now. Good job uh, getting rid of the basketball was Kishinaga. He was on, his, he was on the court. And now Hessen loses control of it. Ball goes out of bounds and turns it right back over to Hiroshima. So seeing some of the issues that have plagued this Toyama Grouse's team this season. Got to value every possession. So a couple of turnovers already for Toyoma. Soto, nice give and go with Mayo, and Mayo is fouled. So two free throws coming uh, for Mayo. Look at Soto. And just a little bit of a slow reaction with Ono. So here is Mayo taking a couple of free throws. Mayo came into this game averaging 14.4 points per game. And the 25-year-old from Maine in New England. Northeastern United States gets that free throw to go. It's 9-3. to Smith out to the corner. They're passing to Will. Here's Hessen. Nice handoff or dump to Smith. And no stopping Josh Smith if he's going to catch it that low, that close to the basket. There's Mayo. Catches at a strike. Quick pass to Soto. Nice soft touch from Soto. Well, a lot of a uh, lot of attention on Kai Soto. Here is uh, Hessen stroking it from deep. That's what he can do. He's got the game to go inside, and that's what makes him an appealing player as well here in Japan. Is he can stroke the three-point shot, but quickly to the other end. And the answer from Hiroshima with Suji knocking down his. First three-pointer. Hessen again, and he's fouled, putting up a three by Dwayne Evans. So three free throws coming for Miles Hessen. So Kai Soto takes his first break. And getting our first look at Kerry Blackshear checks into the game. Also coming in for uh, Hiroshima Dragonflies, Murphy makes his first attempt, uh, first appearance. Isaiah Murphy. Comes, there's Dwayne Evans taking a deep breath. Everything's okay. We're up six points. Just committed a foul on a three-point shooter. Hopefully, he won't make all of these free throws. It's, it's never a good foul to foul the three-point shooter, but it happens more and more uh, because it's such a big shot in the game. And you know, you know that Miles Hessen has already hit one three-pointer in the game. He has the reputation of uh, being a good shooter, so you want to get a hand in the face. 
So, in fact, he does not make, does not capitalize on all three as his second attempt rims out or rattles out. But you see it more and more three point shooters, not just in Japan, but all over the world, getting fouled, putting up the three point shot. Boy, he really has. Uh, become an issue that coaches have to really coach how you defend the three-point shot. You don't fly at the three-point shooter, and you got to be careful reaching in because the referee is looking for any type of contact. So here is a three-point shot, and there is Mayo with the putback attempt and misses. Miles Hessen has the ball after the rebound from Josh Smith. And then again, another turnover from Hessen, and that is toxic. Uh, for the grouses you cannot turn the ball over it usually leads to points to get away with it that time skip pass hessen now down low to smith turns puts it up and no points that was a tough attempt from smith boy it is a scrappy game right now a lot of physicality And Blackshear is fouled. So that leads to the introduction of Mito goes out. Hariyama checks into the game for the first time. Blackshear at the free throw line. And he misses his first attempt. He does make the second, however. Harry Blackshear played last season in Turkey. Now quickly. So Hiroshi, I'm gonna get the basketball back, leading 15 to 10. I mean, the energy is good. For the most part, at this end of the floor, this is where they have to get better, Toyoma. Mayo outside into Mayo. Ooh, pump fake. And Miles Hessen bit on the pump fake, but did not commit the foul. Now he slips down and turns it over his third turnover of the game. Murphy into the corner. Three-point shot is good. So knocking it down, Kamisawa. Excuse me. Yeah, Kamisawa nailing the three. And that all happened because Hessen slipped, hit some moisture, went down on the hardwood. But unfortunately for him, it's his... Uh, his turnover and the turnover leads to a basket. So three, third turnover for Miles Hessen. He's got five points, but he can't be turning the basketball over because that is going to cause problems. Six points off turnovers already for Hiroshima. Well, Hiroshima have not been in the best of form. I mean, they, they won three consecutive games against Kyoto, then a couple against Ibaraki Robots, uh, but they fell 90 to 88. We saw the highlights before the game against Nagoya Diamond Dolphins. So they're looking to get back to winning ways. But before their little three-game winning streak, they had lost a couple of games to 
Gunma Crane Thunders and then Ryuku Golden Kings. Uh, they did have a winning streak. A, a nine-game winning streak. Uh, that started on December 24th and finished on January 18th. But after that, they lost a couple of games to Alvark Tokyo and their, and then had a couple of games against Utsunomiya Brex, which they split. So, And then they split a couple against Hitachi Sunrockers. So their, their form has been kind of patchy. And, you know, they, they definitely need to, to get things going here at this end of the season. Smith passes it back out, and a three-point shot is good from the captain, or one of the two captains uh, for the Grouses. Hariyama. Kevin Hariyama knocking down, getting his first three. There's Murphy knocked out of his hands. Wayne Evans back in the game, asking for the basketball as the shot clock winds down, and that's Hariyama trying to deny him the basketball. And that's a frustrating foul with seven seconds on the shot clock. But there, yeah, that's a clear foul, just wrapping his left arm around Dwayne Evans. So already the Grouse is over the limit and putting Evans on the line where he makes the first. Evans only makes one of two. Murphy tried to, uh, got in there, got his hand on the basketball, but wasn't able to pass it or get it to his teammate. And Blackshear whistled for the foul. Yeah, I mean, Blackshear can have absolutely no complaint. I mean, yeah, you can go for the, try to knock the ball away, and you might not touch him. But when you reach around a player like that, all the way around a player like that, and you're being backed up, there's a very good chance the referee is going to blow his whistle. Hessen steps back a full meter behind the arc. Josh Smith battles for the rebound, but it's Blackshear that comes down with it. Here's a three-point look, and Smith with the rebound. Well, Hiroshima haven't lowered the boom on this uh, Toyoma Grouse's team, and... Uh, the longer the Grouses stay in this, the longer they're going to like their chances. Here is Hessen getting denied by Blackshear. Gets the ball back. Goes up and is fouled. Got a chance for a three-point play. And you can see the athleticism, the strength of Hessen. Also with a quick jump. And it's why you stay with it. Blackshear picks up two quick fouls. He goes out of the game. So Hessen, who has uh, had his issues with turnovers today, is also scoring. So that's good. He's got eight points. Drive and not able to rebound the miss. Get it back again. Hiroshima. Anisawa, Terashima down to Evans on the low block. Shot clock about to expire. Evans putting it up. Terashima and great defense by the Grouses. And Josh Smith 
getting into the game early today, getting a good workout. Getting a lot of minutes here in this first quarter. And another foul and a chance again for Toyama Grouses, Toyama Grouses to uh, get even closer. I mean, that is that is definitely a touch foul. There's no doubt about it. And that's a little frustrating for Mayo. But anytime you, you have the reach, you are in jeopardy of uh, having that foul called on you. Josh Smith is going to the line. Former Georgetown University man at the free throw line. And makes the first. years of age he really does have a beautiful touch doesn't he makes that free throw and cuts the deficit to just one point so we talked about Hiroshima trying to to get back in a good way and right now they are struggling against the grouses and now missing a little jump shot here Mayo follows up the miss and he will go to the line. And that's a frustrating sequence for Toyama Grouses because uh, they gave, they've given away a few shots here because they couldn't get the rebound. And clearly Mayo getting hacked. So Amitani uh, picks up the foul. Yoshiki Amitani. So Mayo is back at the free throw line where he's been very good today. He's made all four of his attempts. He's got seven points. And now he is the victim of the commentator's curse. He's four five, 13.7 seconds left. And it's imperative that Toyama box out here. We saw Murphy sneak in on the previous free throw and get his hand on the ball and could have almost rebounded it himself. He tried to knock it out to his teammate. But there is no rebound to be had as Mayo makes the free throw. Nice uh, look in the stands with that orange hair, that fan. This game, is, this game will do crazy things to you. Here goes Miles Hessen steps back and well, that was a good look. Evans with the rebound, but the time expires. So at the end of one, it's Hiroshima leading at 20 to 18 over Toyama Grouses.
So a very close game here. Hiroshima started out well, but Toyama Grouses haven't let them pull away. In fact, they have come back, and you can see there for the Hiroshima Dragonflies, uh, Suji, Naoto Suji, who has big player in, in this team, 10.2 points, 2.6 assists per game. He's only played two and a half minutes today, hasn't scored Kai Soto checks back into the game. I really feel like Hiroshima were playing better when they had Soto in the game. Mayo in as well, guarding the perimeter. Missing is Amitane and the rebound from Mayo. And then his pass telegraphed. And look at this opportunistically. And it's going to be the big time dunk from Josh Smith. And that was a nice handoff from Asayama. And suddenly... We're knotted at 20, and just like the turnovers will lead to points for Hiroshima, the same goes for Toyama. Soto, this pass outside. Mayo puts it on the deck. Now the three-pointer from the wing, and that's a good answer. And that is a good-looking shot as well from uh, Kamisawa, who now has six points. That's his second three-pointer of the game. Hessen gets it in, and he is fouled by uh, Kamisawa. You can tell the importance of Hessen to this team. I mean, he has a skill set and athleticism that really kind of sets him apart from everybody else in this, in this team. And he's able to put it on the deck, drive. He's able to shoot it. Uh, but that right there, Kamisawa, you got a good three-point shooter, boy. That makes a huge difference. So Heston has eight points already. Also has a couple of assists. And he is at the free throw line. Yeah. Now four or five at the line today. is going to take a seat. Gadsden's going to come back into the game. Remember, Gadsden left early because of the two fouls. Dolphin Evans comes in from the corner. Just kind of snuck in there and throws it down and puts his team back up by three points. There's Gadsden. Left wide open and nails it. Gets that three points right back. Breaks out in a smile as he runs down the court. Soto, and looks like there's a bump there from Josh Smith, no call. And Evans is fouled down low, much to the annoyance of Ono. Watch this, look at that reaction. Kishinaga started, now he's back in the game. Had a couple of assists 
Then sat down. Ono's really bringing the energy out there. They get it right to the top against Mayo, who passes back out. And another foul out on the perimeter, and it's by Kishinaga. So that's his second foul, Kishinaga. Good defense from Gadsden, almost uh, coming up with the basketball. Soto is in the corner. Mayo again, right at the free throw line, and that spot on the floor is open. He's finding it, and there might have to be an adjustment uh, on defense by the Grouses. Gadsden drifts in. Hariyama back down low now to Smith. Smith goes right at Soto, and it was the reach by Soto. And Josh Smith getting a lot of calls out there, but let's look. The hand check. And the problem that Soto has there is he lowers his arm, although they actually did not call the foul on him. They called it on the uh, on the help, Kamisawa. He's got his first foul. Came in averaging almost a double-double, 17.7 points, 9.8 rebounds. And misses both free throws. Evans quickly attacks, and he's got an and one. Good aggressive play from Evans. Yeah, Smith not in position, just kind of slid in there a little late. So Hessen is back in the game after catching a breather. Fi also comes back in. Not capitalize and the basketball. Well, Evans thinking the ball should be theirs. And the foul. So that one on Nakamura. Nakamura knocks his opponent as he uh, goes past. Kishinaga. Gatson drives in. That's going to frustrate Coach Kyle Milling. There's the host pull to within two. Murphy explodes, goes in with the left hand, misses. Hessen, dangerous pass, able to get it over to Gatson. Here's Hessen. Flies in and good hustle. Fine. Can you believe it? Nice activity. Nice hustle. 
Both teams really trying to speed the game up here. And Hessen, great defense by Murphy. Uh, but nobody was there to box out Fye as he came in. In fact, it was Mayo who was going for the rebound. Couldn't quite get it. And then Fye snuck in there. And that leads to a timeout by Hiroshima. But uh, Toyama with a chance to take the lead. So Kyle Milling going to push the reset button for Hiroshima. So the upcoming schedule, look at that fan behind the Hiroshima bench with the orange hair. And here's the uh, recent uh, games from Hiroshima that I was telling you about. They had that three-game streak. So Fai does not put his team back in, or put him in front, and it's 29 apiece. Blackshear back in the game. Whistle blows and moving. Screen the foul on Blackshear. That's number three on him. So he's going to have to come out. He only just came back into the game. Say a fun you also in the game right now for Hiroshima and Kyle Milling. A little frustrated. There's Blackshear's first year in Japan and a little bit of an adjustment period for him. Pass to the corner, and a three-point shot off of the rim, and it triggers a break. Mayo, Funyu. Now the steal, and a chance. And Hessen, though, has it knocked away. That's his fourth turnover. Then Funyu is called. Oh, it's an unsportsmanlike foul. On Mito. And that's a good call. Might have gotten away Hiroshima with a foul on Hessen. So Mito trying to suggest that he was going for the basketball, but it just looked a little rough. But this is where the video assistant will help get a chance to look back at the play and make sure that it is indeed an unsportsmanlike. So it is, a, it is confirmed it's an unsportsmanlike foul. That's going to be two free throws and possession. And Takashi Mito still not sold. But that is the way the game goes, and especially when you're breaking up a, a fast break. You know, uh, you know the referees are... They see if they see you making a play like that and they don't think you're playing the ball it's not a basketball play you're holding or maybe too much physicality they're going to whistle you for the unsportsmanlike so if on you makes the first he's only just come into the game
Nice stroke. Say a fun you. So two point lead and a chance to, to grow that here because of the unsportsmanlike, but no, the ball goes off of Evans. Pass from Mayo, maybe a little low. Gadsden turns, pump fake, gets it back outside. Five misses. Evans dribbles left, gets in. And the ball knocked out of his hands. It goes off him. It goes the other way. And Dwayne Evans upset, thinking he was fouled. And you can hear a lot of ball. Uh, you never know, though, unless you see the replay, if there's any contact. Fai has it. Now Gadsden. He's been dangerous since coming back into the game. He had the early foul trouble, but he's come back in. Still only has two fouls. Good. Nice drive, nice challenge from Funyu, but excellent finish from Mito. And ties it 31, Funyu. Mayo. Well, you're gonna force that shot, only red shirts under. You'll take that every time, Toyama. Five saves it inbounds. Gadsden, shot clock down to five. Five for three. And the Senegalese five not looking too sharp for this three-point shot at this stage, but the shot clock was winding down, so he wanted to get that off. Here's Mayo, and he is fouled this time by Mito. So timeout on the court with 418 remaining in the first half. And, you know, now you feel like is the time that Toyama need to really get their noses in front. Hiroshima not playing their best. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to come out in the third quarter and it's going to be all guns blazing. Thirty-one apiece between Toyama Grouses and Hiroshima Dragonflies. Remember, Hiroshima Dragonflies right now occupying the first wild card spot for the playoffs. 
but they still have some work to do. And, you know, on this evidence, really, they seem to be going through the motions, and you never know. Any team watching this uh, is chasing them for that wild card spot. And Mayo not able to make the shots. So uh, Goon McCrane Thunders right now, 23 and 20. Who knows? Maybe they have a chance here. Josh Smith missing, follows up the miss. And he goes down. They're going to help him up. Shibuya 21 and 22 in the central. Guma Crane Thunders 23 and 20. Akita Happy Northern Happiness 22 and 21. Just like Utsunomiya Brex. Hiroshima are at 31 and 12. Uh, but again, their their form has been a little patchy of late. And Things could get interesting if they don't uh, start to play better. The Goya Diamond Dolphins have that last wild, or the second wild card spot at 30 and 13. Now Smith misses the first, so they call the the foul. Nobody goes up to the line for the first free throw. Now they come up. And a couple of times now, the Grouses have had a chance to take the lead, and they've missed three free throws. So Hiroshima again. The game knotted at 31. Mayo launches it. Yadsen rebound. And yet another chance to take the lead. And you feel like now is the time that Toyama have to strike. They need to get their noses in front. Gatson drives in. He gets blocked by Mayo. Well, that was a good aggressive play. And Mayo with the good defense. Smith and his pass over to Nozaki, whose attempt off the glass doesn't fall. And Suji, excuse me, it's uh, Nozaki with the foul. So he's guarding here. Well, not exactly sure. <laughs> why you called that, but anyway. It's put Dwayne Evans back at the free throw line. Evans has uh, had his struggles at the line tonight. Just one of three. And still can't get it to drop. He's one of four. Thirty-one years of age, Dwayne Evans. And misses both, if you can believe it. And he's getting another chance because they're Referees have said that they, uh, the grouse has got into the lane too soon. So one more attempt. So that, that free throw attempt did not count, much to the relief of Evans, who just wants to see the ball go through the hoop. He steps well off the free throw line. Now he's going to step up, goes through his routine. 
And finally gets it to drop. So Hiroshima go back in front. Three minutes to go in the first half. Hiroshima started pretty well, but they have uh, been out of kilter. Here's Smith catching it down low and is fouled. So now they have a chance once again to not only tie it, but to take the lead. And that's what you call getting the basketball into the big fella. The problem for Toyama is they have had Toyama is they have had a real struggle themselves at the free throw line, making just seven of thirteen. And Josh Smith has uh, been one of the culprits. He's two of six. He takes his time and makes the free throw to tie it once again. Can we see Toyama get the lead? They have not led in this game. And the answer is no. They still have not taken the lead. And it's the free throw issues that have really plagued them in this first half. Pass to the corner, the three-point shot. Off target, Asiyama and Gadsden hands it off. Gadsden working with Amitani over there. Evans guarding him and the charge has been called on Gadsden. And that is number three. Well, kind of lowered his uh, right shoulder and definitely went into him a little bit. So to me, that's a good call. Evans, great job. Oh no, comes back into the game. The high energy forward. Here again, they pass it around, the driving. And all oh, the rejection from Smith. He's not having any of that in his house. Don't bring it at the captain like this on his home floor. And he showed a little bit of elevation. Three point look. It's long and Smith with the rebound. Will Toyama finally take the lead? They've had several chances and they've spurned all of them. Can they finally get their noses in front here at the end of the first half? Drive and a handoff and yes they can. Josh Smith dunks them into the lead. Their first of the game. Smith now with nine points, four rebounds. He has that block. And Hiroshima, who just aren't turning on all cylinders right now, facing a very, uh, it seems like they're going to have a tough, tough, uh, tough next 21 minutes. They're not really in sync. So Kyle Milling calls the timeout. And the Grouses, meanwhile, are going to sit down and listen to their coach.
So coming out of the timeout, Mayo passes it back outside. Now on the baseline, and Evans drills it. Got an open look and knocked it down and tied the game at 34. Amitani looks at his options. Oh boy, dangerous pass. Amitani gets the defender on him and then puts up a crazy shot. Josh Smith, though, there for the rebound. Ball did not hit the rim, so they've got to launch it. Ono oh, misses. And Kai Soto, who's come back into the game, brings it down. So they just got a very good look for Evans. Now they're going to run a play. They've got Kai Soto at the, the high post. Mayo. Back outside, here's Evans. Shot clock down to four. Evans drifts in to the corner. And Mayo with the putback, and he is fouled. Boy, what a disaster that was for Toyama. Great play by Mayo. And he, he does not give up on the basketball. He goes in. Looked like he was competing with Soto for the rebound. Watch this. Well, not, probably not that much contact on the putback. But nevertheless, he gets to the line and Ono picks up his fourth foul. So he's going to go sit down. Tough break for him as uh, Fai comes back in. Kai Soto did a good job boxing Miles Hessen out of the play and that kind of opened up some space for this guy to come in and score with the putback and to get fouled and he does not make it but look at that kai soto keeping it alive and ultimately not able to to put the ball in the basket but kai soto's length his height two three zone now being employed by the dragonflies and Fai misses right at the end. So this is where we are at halftime. Tough blow right at the end of the, of the first half for Ono. He picks up his fourth foul. And it's Hiroshima Dragonflies leading at 36-34 at the break.
Well, we were at halftime, and uh, Hiroshima Dragonflies uh, 36 to 34 over Toyama Grouses. This is how we got to that point. That three point shot there from Nazaki and Josh Smith getting in, and he's got nine points and six rebounds. Mayo with the pass over to Kai Soto. Uh, Soto in nine and a half minutes with uh, four points, four rebounds, and three assists. Miles Hessen has a team high 10 points for the Grouses. And the three point shot from uh, Hiroshima Suji. That was his uh, one make from three attempts. Also, the three point shot from uh, Kamisawa, who has a couple of three pointers. Hariyama coming out. And this was uh, the terrific play by Hessen, who drove in, got his shot blocked, but he stayed with it, got it back, went up, made the shot, and was fouled. And that was Smith swatting the ball out of bounds. He's got a couple of blocks today. Dwayne Evans, clearly the go-to man for this, along with Mayo, this uh, Hiroshima Dragonflies team, and Dwayne Evans has eight points. He is, however, two of five from the free throw line. Gatson had some good moments, uh, but he also had some foul trouble that he had to cope with. Picked up a late third foul. Five was able to score his two points. That's his only make. He's one of five from the floor uh, with the putback. And then you had Mito driving in and scoring. And again, that was Smith swatting the ball out of bounds from Tarashima. Then Ono with the dish. And one of the dunks from Smith. Unfortunately for, excuse me, one of the, one of the, one of the, problems with Ono is he's got four fouls that he picked up. So it's not Terashima with the dish. Excuse me, it was Ono. And that's where we stand. So 36-34. Both teams with four makes from three-point range. Both teams with seven makes inside the arc. Very similar stats. And also both teams struggling at the free throw line. Where Hiroshima have been a lot better is on the glass 25 rebounds for them to 18. Eight of their rebounds coming on the offensive glass. And as I mentioned, it's Mayo with 12 points to lead all scores. 10 for Hessen. It's uh, game high for the Grouses. They've also got nine from Smith, five from Gadsden. And for the Dragonflies, Evans has eight. And Kamisawa has six. And you saw earlier the, the nine bench points for Hiroshima, 14 bench points coming for the Toyama, Toyama Grouses and the points in the paint, 12 for Toyama and for Hiroshima, eight points in the paint. So we're underway here in the second half. Again, Hiroshima right now occupying one of the wild card spots for the playoffs, but uh, their form has been off and on of late. And that's an important shot as Mayo comes right out and strokes it. And you can see that his teammates excited 
I'm sure they had a rather animated conversation at halftime about how they cannot afford to drop this game on the road against a team that's won just eight games all season. Gadsden with the three fouls. Shot clock winding down. Fai gets it. Misses from the strike. And I think if Gadsden had to do it all over again, he might have taken that three-point shot instead of passing it up. Here's Evans for three and a second consecutive three. And we're going to get a timeout quickly from Coach Takaoka to try to slow down, try to disrupt the rhythm of the Hiroshima Dragonflies. So they had four three-pointers at halftime, and they've quickly, in less than a minute, hit a couple of more to go up 42-34, to 34, their biggest lead of the game. See the foul trouble for the Grouses. Ono has the four fouls and then three apiece for Mito and uh, Gadsden. Just two fouls on Kishinaga. And one foul on Amitani. And for Hiroshima, two fouls apiece for Kai Soto and Dwayne Evans. Three fouls for Kerry Blackshear. Also two for Kamisawa, and just one apiece for Funyu and Nakamura. So let's see if there's a little bit more bounce in the step, especially on the defensive end from the Grouses coming out of the timeout after giving away the, the two open looks from three-point range. They get it down low to Josh Smith, and he is fouled by Kai Soto. So that is number three on Kai Soto. And he's like, how am I supposed to defend this guy? He's a big man. He's got his hands up. There he is battling away. And the problem that Kai Soto has there, he needs to keep his arms straight up. But, you know, at the, the best of times, at the worst of times, it's difficult to guard this, uh, this big pivot, number 34, Smith. When he starts backing his way down there, I mean, what are you supposed to do? You have to go with it, keep your hands up. But Smith's free throw shooting, letting him down today. Three of nine at the line. Now three of ten, but the ball goes right back to him, and you can see he's a little dejected. Gadsden takes the three, misses. So, Kishinaga trips up Dwayne Evans. Uh, I wouldn't say he tripped him up. It looked like uh, Evans went down with some of the contact. Soto pass into the paint and gets away. Right idea. Now quickly up the floor and missing it was Hariyama. Soto in the paint. That was short. Smith rebounds it. They got numbers. Three on two break. And excellent work taking it all the way in for the layup was Kishinaga. His first two points of the game. And it's almost kind of a replica of the first half. You feel like there's some opportunities here for Hiroshima to really kind of get on top of their opponents. Uh, but then they give away a, an easy bucket. 
Maybe rush a shot. Here's a three, and that's long, but again, the long rebound. So Suji has another chance, gets it to Evans, goes off one foot, and he is fouled by Gadsden, and that is number four. So unfortunately for the Grasses, they've got two players now in foul trouble. Gadsden goes out. And that leads to the reintroduction of Miles Hessen. Also coming back into the game is Amitani. Rouse's fans trying to make some noise. Oh, and this time Dwayne Evans gets the ball to fall through the hoop. Before that, he was two of five, so now he's three of six. And Evans is a player that goes to the free throw line a lot. This time front and back of the rim and stays out. Smith turns back outside. Hariyama for three. Misses everything. Quickly. To Tarashima. Now they pass it around. Outside it goes. And the three-pointer from Suji off target. Mayo scraps away with Hessen. They keep it at this end. Evans. Turns. Back outside to Suji. And traveling is the call. Well, the Grouses are just looking for a spark. They're trying to, Coach Takaoka is trying to find somebody that can light, light the flame for this team. Ozaki in the game in the backcourt with Amitani. Fai also in now. Number one, Smith and Hessen as well. Hessen standing over there in front of his team's bench and a reach and the foul has been called on Tarashima. Three-point shot from Amitani, and the long rebound by Suji. Quickly over to Evans. Mayo on the break and makes the three. And now they've got their biggest lead of the game. Ten points. Grouses with just two points here in the second half. They started slow in the first half as well. Hessen to five. He gets it to Smith. He puts it up and in. Great job by Smith. He catches the ball high. He keeps it high, and he just puts it off the glass and in. Mayo, will it be another three for him? Boy, he is red hot. Another three-pointer for Nick Mayo. He's got 21 points, and he is drilling him from deep. Biggest lead of the game, 11. But coming right back and stroking it from deep is Nozaki. That's his second three-pointer of the game. Grouses can't tr trade buckets. But that was a big three. Now Soto. Suji gets it over to Evans. Evans has it knocked away and almost tried to get it out on the break, but 
Amatani has it. Smith drives down low. And the foul called. Watch this. He's got his... They, they really are. So the foul is called on Evans. And they just, they, they are not getting any, any calls whatsoever uh, when they try to defend Smith. And the entry pass stolen. Trying to get it to Hessen. And that leads to a break. And here's Evans, who looked like he wanted to dunk it. In the end, he just laid it up and in. But that's a, again, those turnovers that just lead to points. Smith turns and blocked from behind by Soto. Puts it back up and nope, it doesn't go. But then the ball stolen by Kishinaga and Hessen scores, takes advantage to go to 12 points. Soto, nice pass to Evans. And Evans can't believe he didn't make that, but he's got a couple of free throws. So if he makes one of these two, Kai Soto is going to pick up his fourth assist of the game. So with Evans, Mayo, and Kai Soto, I mean, you you have three really good players. Nice front line for this uh, Hiroshima Dragonflies team. You got Blackshirt coming off the bench. I mean, they've got the they've got the makings of a team if they can put it all together. I mean, it's not an issue of talent. So Teroshima goes out of the game. Here is Evans. Evans has had some issues at the free throw line today. So he's five of nine. Excuse me, he is uh, three of seven now, four of eight. Evans makes both free throws. He's going to take a seat. And Kyle Milling implores his team to keep playing hard. Here's the drive, and Smith gets it to go. He wanted the end one, but he's not going to get it. Into the corner it goes, and pulling up and missing was Kamisawa. So Kamisawa with that opportunity, and again, Toyama just kind of hanging around right now. Oh boy, that is a tough turnover. Amitani, excuse me, the Mizaki. Good steal, and again, uh, this time Blackshear gets on the board, and, and it's the turnovers that have really cost this. Koyama Grouse's team.
Boy, that's a long three. And in fact, it was too long in the end. Now the corner. And this one misses a chance for Miles Hessen. And that's going to be an unsportsmanlike. So just stopping the fast break. Nakamura but just kind of wraps his arms around it and that makes that makes it an easy call for the referee. So two shots and possession. Confirm it. Making sure they got the right numbers. And the unsportsmanlike foul has been confirmed. So two free throws and possession. So this would be a good trip down the floor if they make both free throws and get a basket, be it a two or a three. And Miles Hessen uh, returns to the free throw line where he is five of six so far today. Five of seven, or six of seven now, six of eight at the line, rather, for the day. 75%, I guess that's acceptable, but you want to make them all when you're trailing. So, nine-point deficit, and the Grouses, with 12 minutes remaining, still time to get that ninth win. And finally, knocking it down was Fai an open three, so it's a four-point trip down the floor, and it's back to a six-point deficit. Kaiso to a quick pass to Blackshear. Oh, and now he has been hit in the face, Blackshear, by Fai, and an unsportsmanlike foul was called. And you almost wonder. I know, I mean, he, he grabbed his face. As if he'd been hit in the face, but I think Fi just got him on the on the shirt. The thing is, he was he wasn't playing the ball, so they still might call the unsportsmanlike foul. Number five, 35 years of age. Been around, been playing in uh, Japan professionally since 2011. Actually born in Senegal, but does have Japanese nationality. Okay, so they are now going to walk over to the scores table. They're going to make sure they got the numbers right, and then they're going to tell us if it was indeed an unsportsmanlike foul. And yes, it is. Unsportsmanlike foul. So two free throws and possession. So Kerry Blackshear at the free throw line. Had a rough first half. Takes his time, makes the first. So Blackshear gets both to go and takes the lead back up to eight. And you, you get the feeling that Hiroshima will just be glad to get out of here with a win today. 
And to get out of here with two wins this weekend. Kai Soto. Over to Mayo. Three-point look, and that is a big-time shot. Stroking it from deep. Kamisawa, his third three-pointer of the day. The lead goes to 11. That was a big sequence down the floor. Anytime you get a five-point trip down the floor. Hessen floats in, gets rejected by Kai Soto. And Blackshear goes in for the dunk. And now it begins, it gets problematic here. So they blow the whistle with one of the Toyama players down on the court needing some, uh, some attention. So Miles Heston getting blocked. Oh, I see it was the headbutt. Nozaki was going for the basketball. It looked like he banged heads. So he's going to go out of the game. He caught it right there on the... Just looks like a, right beside his left eyebrow. That's not going to feel very good on the temple. Well, they want to look at it just in case, but I don't think there's any. I think it was uh, two players going for the basketball, but you can see he's got some kind of, kind of a, a red, some reddish area there where the contact was made. Maybe it wasn't the head. Maybe it was more of the elbow. I have to look at it again, but I mean, this, this clearly is not an unsportsmanlike foul. Unless, unless they're seeing something that I didn't, which might be the case. Yeah, so no, they were just... It was just an inadvertent hit to the face, and Nozaki is feeling it, so he's got some ice on the face. Well, checking in is Matsui. Played a little bit in the first half. Kizura Matsui. 13-point advantage for Hiroshima. Matsui for three. Final minute here in the third quarter. They pass it around. Here's Blackshear. Got it to Kai Soto. He takes the bump. No, nothing called. And it's got to be much better than that. Attacking the rim, even if it is Josh Smith that he's going up against. Matsui again. And again, Matsui misses. Kai Soto with the rebound. Soto's going to get into double digits and rebounds today. This pass thrown behind Kamisawa. Final seconds ticking off the clock in what has been a very difficult third quarter for this uh, Grouse's team. Here's Hessen and makes the shot right at the buzzer. 15 points for Miles Hessen. And that closes the gap to just 11 points. So Grouse is still with a chance. 
Uh, maybe we'll see some full court pressure from them. They need to do something to create some easy buckets because they're really struggling uh, to put the ball in the basket. So fourth quarter action underway, and the time is now for Toyama Grouses to mount a comeback if they're going to, trailing by 11 points against Hiroshima Dragonflies. Hessen, who just scored, drives in and scores over Soto. Well, that was a nice move. He's got 17 points. Blackshear fouled. He put the ball down on the deck, which uh, negated his height against the smaller defender right there. Nevertheless, uh, he was able to get the foul called on Matsui. Here's Mayo. Ooh. Hessen almost got his hands on that. Blackshear travels. Well, everybody in that toy in that uh, Hiroshima on the bench, including the coach, not not happy with the traveling call. But nevertheless, it opens up the door just a little bit more for Toyama to get back into it. They've had success, but gosh, that has been the worst part of their game today, the turnovers. And the points off turnovers continue to ruin the Grouse's chances today. Hiroshima Dragonflies capitalizing. They've now got 15 points off the... Nine out the 10 turnovers of Toyama. That was a good pass from Blackshear. And that was a great finish from Nakamura.
So let's see if uh, the Grouses uh, can mount another comeback and avoid making those costly turnovers. Gatson back in with the four fouls. Three point shot is good. Always a good sign coming out of the timeout to knock down a three. So Nozaki also, who had the bang on the head, seems like he's okay. Maybe that helped his shooting. He's got three of five from deep. In fact, he's been shooting it well all day. Here's Mayo back in. Blackshear, you can count it. Boy, Blackshear, second half version, much better than the first half. He's got 10 points. Nothing more deflating for a team that's trailing to get a three than to give one up and then to come to, well, at least they've come back. And the man with four fouls strokes it from downtown Ono. So again, a couple of quick three pointers and the Grouses, who knows, maybe they saved their best quarter for last. But they've got to get stops at this end. Here's Blackshear. Wide open in the corner. How about that? Boy, it is a three-point shootout. Kamisawa making his fourth three-pointer of the day. Four three-pointers, two for each team in the last minute and 20 seconds. Steps back. Three, and oh boy, the ball fell to Josh Smith. That was uh, some good fortune from Kishinaga. His uh, three attempt. So at least Toyama don't have an empty possession. Oh, uh, Blackshear catches it down low. It's easy. Rouses have done better about finding a way to score, but they haven't stopped Hiroshima in this fourth quarter. Six minutes, 22 seconds remaining. So, Kishinaga fouled as he gets in to the paint. Naga missing it from deep. There's Smith with the offensive rebound and put back. Kai Soto looks at the referee and says, just a little bit of contact there, but it really feels like Josh Smith just owns the low post. It doesn't matter how you play him. He's not going to be stopped, and the whistle's definitely not going to blow against him. Here's Blackshear catching it low. Smith might have gotten away with a reach. Now quickly driving and scoring, and he's fouled. Great job, Kishinaga. Shuto Kishinaga with a chance for a three-point play. And Hiroshima must be thinking, what do we need to do to put this thing away? And Mayo, I'm with you. I thought he might have walked on that. But instead, he gets to the line for an and one. And the foul was number four. Not sure actually who committed the foul, but it was number four. <laughs> anyway, we got 72-65 Hiroshima on top of Toyama. And like I said earlier, I think Kyle Milling will just be glad to get out of here with a win tonight. And then come back tomorrow. Great work, Kishinaga. So Kishinaga with four points now, got a chance to go to five if he can make the free throw. Free throw line has been an adventure today for Toyama. They are 
truly struggling, just nine of 19. And that just shows you how crucial those free throws are. If they'd made their free throws, they'd be tied, maybe even leading. Maybe you're not going to make them all, but you got to make more than uh, 47%. And likewise, for Hiroshima, if they'd been able to make their free throws, uh, this thing would probably uh, almost be over. They're 15 of 24. 62%. So they have left a lot of points out there at the free throw line today. So I believe that was on, yeah, that was on Nakamura. That was his fourth foul. So here's Kishinaga, and again, with 5.44 remaining, the Grouses. They got to score here, and then they need to go down and perhaps be as disruptive on defense as they were last time. So they cut it back to six. Remember, this Hiroshima team has led today by as many as 13 points. Now five back in the game. So they need some big minutes from him. Evans. Josh Smith catching a breather. Suji gets it to Blackshear. His pass to Evans. Nice touch pass to Murphy in the corner. Well, they got a good look. Took a lot of time off the clock, but they didn't get the basket. Now if the Grouses can hit a three, we're going to have a three-point game. Even a two would get him to within four. Gadsden. He has the foul trouble. And, oh, and the shot from Suji just off the front of the rim. Excuse me, that was the shot from uh, Nozaki. Now the... Foul has been called. So Miles Hessen heads over to the bench. Dwayne Evans, as well as we have a timeout. See the foul trouble. There is quite a bit of foul trouble there. If somehow Toyoma, Toyama rather, can come back. Maybe even send it to overtime. But then again, they've got foul trouble themselves. A couple of players with four. Two players with three. Both Gadsden and Ono with four fouls. And Mito and Kishinaga each with three fouls. But yeah, Soto, Evans each with three. Blackshear with three. And Nakamura has four for the team in white, Hiroshima. So, again, Dwayne Evans at the free throw line where it has been kind of an adventure today. He's now 5 of 9 at the strike. 59%. And misses the first. And I think Brian Milley knows that if this team is going to do anything this year, it's got to do a better job at the free throw line. 
They might get away with it today against Toyama, missing a lot, but Evans takes his time and makes the second to push the lead to seven. Pye hands it off to Hessen. Oh, quick pass to Fai. Fai needs to go strong to the basket rather than kind of falling back a little bit. Bounce pass to Evans. Out to the wing. Spin. And knocking and putting it in off the glass and in is Suji. So the lead goes to nine. Good execution. Nozaki comes out to guard him, so he goes right past him. Then he spins and he scores. See Terashima and Suji and Murphy all discussing their defensive alignment. And meanwhile, time is running out here for the Grouses. 4.05 remaining, still trailing by nine points. Ono in the game. He's got the four. Gadsden also in. He's got the four fouls. Ono pushing off. He's got to be careful. Oh, the lane opens up. And Kishinaga ends up shooting a three and misses. Hiroshima to Blackshear, who turns and his pass back out to the perimeter to Suji, who was kind of drifting to his right. Right idea, just didn't make the connection. There's Gatson, decides to go all the way. He's blocked, but he earns the trip to the line. Well, they, they've done a great job of collapsing on the Grouse players, but And I think Gadsden probably fortunate to get to the free throw line there. But some people say the ball don't lie and he does make the first free throw. And he makes a second as well, Gadsden to cut it back to a seven point deficit. And now the question is, can they get another stop? They want to make this as uncomfortable as possible for Hiroshima down the stretch. Hiroshima, I think, want to take some as much time off on the possession as they can. They pass it around, Murphy hands it off. Blackshear over to Evans, shot clock down to two and Gadsden 
has been lost for the game. He picks up foul number five, and he walks off in frustration. Oh, and honestly, I don't know where the foul was there. I didn't see any. I don't, I don't even think he reached for the basketball. I don't. I think the referee might have been shielded. I can't believe it. I would have to see that again, but that's why he had the reaction from Gatson. He couldn't believe it. In fact, there was absolutely no contact whatsoever. But those things even out over the course of the game. Evans misses. Ono comes up with the basketball. They get it to Smith. And he goes up and he is blocked. And now Blackshear is going to help up his teammate Suji and Smith is slow to get up. Let's see who the foul. So the foul on Suji, not on Blackshear. But the problem for the Grouses, again, is that Smith has really struggled making his free throws. And he continues to struggle. He's now 3 of 11 at the line, and that is a frustrating situation for the captain because he knows trailing by seven. You've missed eight free throws. Well, and he misses both free throws. Evans cuts in, puts up a shot. Thought he was going to get to the, the rim, which he did, but... Kind of took a difficult shot at the end. Maybe could have made that a little bit easier. Here's Hessen. Gets to the baseline. Flies in for the dunk. Are you kidding me? What a drive from Miles Hessen. He's got 19 points. He was tired of messing around. And now it's a five-point game. And Evans wishes he'd been able to convert on his last drive. Here he is again. Blackshear off the free throw, off the three-point line. And boy, how about that? A runner off the glass. Well, he has showed us his talent in the second half, that's for sure. Kerry Blackshear. And I really do think it's an issue of him just getting more and more comfortable with the game here in Japan. He's got some talent. Ono spins, puts it up, and just misses everything. Smith was able to bat it, but back into the path of Hiroshima. Evans, and more than happy to take time off the clock. Instead of putting up the three, Kamisawa brings it back out. Here is the jumper at the line, and that from Terashima probably is going to do it. The 25-year-old stretching the lead to nine points. So no timeout. Well, they're going to need a minor miracle now to come back from this. Mizaki looks for space. Hessen for three. Mizaki goes for the rebound. And now they play keep away, and Evans comes across midcourt. Ono oh, has the four fouls. And here in the final minute, Time is almost up on the grouses. 
And Evans goes up. And a little bit of emphasis. And Evans a little bit frustrated that the foul wasn't called. But no need to lose, lose your temper when you're up and you're about to get the victory. He knows it. A little bit frustrated. I think Ono had the look of the sheepish look like he had committed the foul. And Smith turns it over out of bounds. So frustrating day at the office here for the Grouses. You know, ultimately, you got to be able to make your free throws. And as a team today, they were 12 of 24. They're losing by 11 points. And again, that pretty much tells you the story. Dragonflies also struggled from the free throw line. And that also tells you a story and that they could have put this thing away earlier had they made their free throws. But as it is, Hiroshima Dragonflies get a big win, 81 to 70 against Toyama Grouses. They'll do it again tomorrow. Well, at this stage of the season, the Hiroshima Dragonflies looking to uh, just reel off the victories to get closer to sealing a spot in the playoffs. And getting this win is going to help them do that. Still not home and dry, but getting oh so close to locking up one of those spots at 31 and 12. They'd like to get even closer. Couple of, couple of wins behind Ryuku Golden Kings and five below Shimane Susanoo Magic, who uh, they've still got some games against. It wasn't, it wasn't a thing of beauty today, and I think, again, they will be happy to, to get the win. They, they had phases where they played well, and it was just a kind of a awkward contest for them. I think they're lucky that Josh Smith really had his struggles at the free throw line. So the Grouse fans disappointed. The, the fans that came from Hiroshima, all smiles. Let's listen to Kyle Milling. はい。勝ちました。広島、ミリング and uh, we came out very sluggish. It wasn't the prettiest game, but it's always good to win, even though the game's ugly. It's always good to win ugly, basically. まあ、今日のゲーム、スタートの後に神様がいいシュートを何本か決めてくれましたので、本当にいい回線のシェアだったかなと思いますし、彼にとっても素晴らしいシェアだと思っております。広島はチャンピオンシップ、チクで優勝するためにアスモを勝ちが必要です。ブ
Takusan Genki, Morimashita, Matekite Kurisai. And let's go. Catch a jacket. Ashita. One more time. Onaji. Let's go. Toosh! <laughs> His mastery of Japanese has gotten a lot better. So here's the hometown favorite. Let's hear what Kamisawa has to say. そうですね、やっぱり、え、まあ、外線試合に臨みました。その結果、ま、チームはもちろん勝つっていうのは大前提だったんですけど、しっかり勝てて、え、シュートも決めれて良かったと思います。神沢選手、水曜の名古屋
and 12 rebounds. I mean, the effort is there, and I think that's what's frustrating for him and for his coach is to know that, you know, his his numbers are going to be off the charts, and the team is probably it's going to this thing is going down to the wire. They might even win the game if he, if he does knock down his free throws. Gadsden had a limited impact today. The foul trouble uh, hurt his calls. Phi came out and uh, was able to score that bucket. The putback. Also driving in and scoring was Mito. Suji making the pass here to his Hiroshima teammate, Terashima. Ono getting the basketball to Smith, but those were the highlights, some of the highlights anyway. Kai Soto had, in the end, a good all-around game. I mean, he was 2 of 5 from the floor with 4 points, but he also had 8 rebounds, 6 assists, and a couple of blocks. So it's not always about the scoring. Here was, okay, we'll go back to the highlights, and we'll see the putback from Mayo, and he's just is so active. Does a little bit of everything. Here he is showing his three-point shooting. And again, he was good from deep. He was four or five. And then it was contagious because he passed over to Evans, and then he nailed the three. So that back-to-back three-pointers right at the start of the second half. It didn't necessarily set the tone for a great second half, but it just kind of let the Grouses know that this is going to be a tough, tough comeback attempt for them. Kishinaga was able to hustle down and put the ball off the glass and in as they attempted to make the comeback, but that was an ill-fated pass that was intercepted by Kamisawa and a hometown favorite, then passes up to Evans who goes in for the layup. And Blackshear really came to life in the second half. That was a good pass by Soto. Sometimes you want Soto to be a little more selfish. That was Fai shooting it from deep and making it. Kamisawa, one of his four three-pointers. But more on Blackshear, he finished with 14 points, the majority of that coming in the second half. Miles Hessen, 19 points, 6 of 12 shooting from the floor. And that was an impressive drive as they tried to mount a comeback. Uh, but that was, again, one of those turnovers in Blackshear showing his uh, smart, alert play, passing it up to his teammate for the layup. Blackshear even showing us his three-point range. That was the only three that he attempted, and he made it. Could be a weapon for Kyle Milling's team moving forward. Ono oh, really liked the energy that he brought today. It was unfortunate that he picked up the four fouls. But Kamisawa was just a constant pain. Josh Smith making that shot. And then again on the break, the Grouses had a late run and they didn't give it up. They kept battling away. Mizaki pushing it quickly. Suji, great play, driving in, taking the contact, putting it off the glass. Hessen, this is the great play from him, went in and really took off and dunked and that was just a quality move from Blackshear little runner uses the glass and Terashima and that was pretty much the one that just iced the victory Suji handing it off to Evans for the final dunk 
Hiroshima won it 81 to 70 over Toyama Grouses. So again, thanks everybody for watching here. I'll let you look at these final stats again. Grouses with eight threes, 11 made by Hiroshima. Free throw shooting woes really hurt Toyama Grouses today. And the rebounds, of course, did not help either. Out rebounded 45 to 31. 81 to 70, Hiroshima Dragonflies win it over Toyama Grouses. Thanks for watching, everybody.